Okay, today I want to share about this HCP, the latest version. It's a H H I K version, H I K Central Professional. Okay, come we uh, I want to share about the time maintenance software over here. So we access to the this HCP first. Okay, I have to do some roughly introduce la, about how the register device. Okay, so we come over here. They have a resources management. If you adding your uh, because today I will share about the time maintenance software. So over here they have access control. So we usually we use access control for the time maintenance being. So over here they have already adding my device over here, and also <coughs> the person already synchronize all the data. And so I also synchronize all the data, and uh, and inside have uh, some of the transition log. So we can immediately see the report after we set the time attendance. Okay, we go into the this access code. We go into the time attendance. Okay, we go to the attendance setting. Okay, first of all, I want to know. I want to ask. Usually, people are. Usually, uh, the time uh, we are doing this is the uh, time of being. So this is the device. Okay, and this is the general rule. Okay, this general rule we have to specify. Because we don't know customer what they need the, on the time attendance is correct or not. So I have one, I make the one example over here. Working time, weekdays, 9 to 6, 9 to 13. Okay, but this 9 to 13 is a half day work. So Saturday, he available for work. So over the general rule here, we untake the Saturday after, that, after to apply. Okay, below here, they have a, a lot of setting over here, but we temporarily we don't do any setting over here because all the setting usually we go into the step by step we, will, we will automatically use on it so over time also as well so there's nothing to do over this part so we come to a shift setting okay over shift setting here they have a timetable this is a timetable for the for for the for the, for the hik itself they given this is just an example, but now currently we need to use on it. So we have to create our own. Okay, we just do a roughly 9 to 6, 9 to 13. Okay, let me explain a little bit over here. We add into a timetable. So we simply put name, daily, depends. Okay, daily. 9 to 6 is automatically created, but hey, some people, they open the office earlier. So I prefer we put 7 or 6 and over here I put 6 so some people will be very late so we put 12 and we here put 12.01 we never, it never miss anybody so this I put 20.59 because somebody will going to do OT somehow like that lah Okay, other than that, you can you know, late available. That means he able to late. I just give you some compensate for five minutes. Early leave is no compensate, so I put one minute. Okay, so break duration usually 0 0.1. We give one hour, late here auto deduct. Okay, we add into it. Okay, daily is done. But remember, we have half day. So we need to correct the half day. So we're going to add. add. You put daily half okay so this 13 right or not so others you do the same this I put 0 06 this I put 12 Okay, and this I put 2359 as well because this is very really check in and check out. Okay, for here, that F no break time because it's half day mark or not. So we add into it. Done daily and daily half really done success to do. You go into the shift, you add. So this is a shift time. So we put a daily. 
Okay, so this is uh, exactly the timetable for the this is a schedule for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday. So we create this daily for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So another half day we put on a Saturday. Okay, then over here. Okay, overtime. How are we going to set overtime? So we go into this overtime, you enable it. Calculate overtime on the work, work day. Okay, this you put one minute. We take this one. Okay, this you put on it. I need to I need to do extension because he maybe he work more than that more than four hour five hour so we need our attention over here so that's how we can easy to catch on the all the timetable. Okay, so we come to the over here. There is uh, there no longer overtime for the holiday, so we add into it. Okay, the daily time table already done. So all the time these are working well already. So it's done already. So one thing, who are going to follow this daily? So we're going to shift schedule. Go to the assign schedule, shift schedule. So we this this is who or who are following this shift. So going to a set, you select a date effectively. Example, this I put March first, two zero zero time. You make sure over here, and also this we put March, but we set the set the year more farther away. I make it two zero two nine. Okay, we press OK. So everything done. Follow this shift daily. We save it. Okay, so it already done over here. <coughs> so we now we are how we going to do on the transaction log. Okay, we, I minimize this too because it's easy to see. Do you see this record and handling? This is attendant record. You see over here. Okay, this is attendant record. So how we going to do? Time data already done, so we have to get the data from the device. That means the transaction log. But the transaction log, you can get from here. Get from device. Select your device. You press OK. He will get the data from the device. Everything of the transaction data he will take from the device, put into here. But depends on what you take, he will do loading. He will take, take all the transaction log. So that's why now he's taking on it. Now give us a little time. Let him the to have a transaction. Let him to have a transaction to put put into the system. Okay, done. So after that, we going to the do a calculation because the data is from expired before. Currently, you are no need to do, but now we have to calculate. Usually, we have to follow this step by step. Okay, you set the time period. First and currently it's a 31, 30, 30, but we have only can set 23. Click OK. You click all the person able to calculate. Okay, successfully. The calculation already calculate. But why are you not going to show, show up? Because we haven't to do a this filter show up. So we set the lead. Now we just double check. First March until 23. Please OK. So we place this filter. So all the data already done. You see they have a working day and also the ending time. So all over already here, already here. So I have a make <coughs> all, the, all the calculation already done over here. So there are nothing to do. How we, now we are, want to show how we export the report. So usually customer inquiry for the uh, Monday, so we're going to export report. 
Do you see they have a they are uh, they do you see have a they have a stock or they have a my, my overview report but this is just an overview you click the person click OK click export so we open on it this is how he first of the march second of the march third of the march this is a date and this is is a person they have a name over here person or the name all is lo already written over here so this is a complete report. Uh, so thank you for watching.